SFB Addict here, going to do a quick little product review for these little USB sound cards. This is the one that I picked up from UXCell. Now, the reason I needed this is because I traded for a computer, and, uh, well, when I installed the Linux on it, the motherboard was too new for proper driver support for the audio headset jack ports. Uh, so I decided to pick up this little sound card to see how it would work. The sound quality is uh, pretty good for the, the uh, headset. Uh, the audio recording for the microphone is pretty good as well, with a tiny little bit of static, but it's good enough for a YouTube video kind of thing. Um, now this cost me about 350 when I bought it. Um, the price seems to have gone up a little bit, but there are other models out there. Now whether or not these will last in the long run is another question entirely. Now the th thing about these little devices, or at least what I find found when I installed it for Linux, is that as soon as you plug it in, it's not going to work. You actually need to physically reboot your computer with the USB device plugged in, and then after it's come back up and booted, it will then be available for usage. And what I found is that once you uh, launch or run a program, you will have that item available as a USB audio device and you can select it in your drop downs for usage. So in my particular system I've got built in audio which doesn't work because of the drivers. I've got audio output to my monitors through uh, HDMI but I had to pick up this little USB device here. So this wasn't here until I rebooted. After you reboot you get your option. Now let's uh, do a playback here. Let me see, I'll load up Audacity, I think. Now when I loaded Audacity without rebooting, it did give me the option here in the defaults for the device, even though it wasn't in the system here. So let's see. Yeah, here we go. You'll get your, your drop-down option. So it's here for simple screen recorder. Uh, USB audio device is what it'll usually come up as. And didn't have to do any configurations with scripts or anything. It just automatically popped in as that. So that's what I wanted to show you was that option in the drop-down. So you will get that if I, for instance, uh, play a movie or something. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's grab something TV 11th hour so as that's playing you can see VLC popped up and let me just uh, pause this but anyway it showed up for VLC with the options for how I want to get my sound usually the default will be your built-in. You'll have to select any other form that you want to use once you load the program. So that's it for how to get those little USB devices to work in Linux. For the most part, all you got to do is reboot and then select the device for the particular program in your audio settings. Anyway, if you want to support me, you can of course always donate directly through PayPal. There's a link at the bottom. Or you could uh, purchase some merchandise from T Republic. It's under the account Spam Me account and I've got uh, a couple of designs up here. Uh, simple t-shirts for no communism, Nazis, Islam, feminism or pedophilia. And you can get them in sort of shirts, phone stickers, laptop cases, notebooks and stickers. And the other design is just the top three just in case for some reason you support pedophilia or feminism. But anyway, that's uh, this little video. Have fun. Hope those devices work for you if you need to use them.